All right, guys. Yeah, man. Good morning. Good evening. Wherever you're watching me from, this is Jason YK here again, man. Yeah, guys. Today, I'm here to share something that is very, very important with you all again. You know, uh, and what am I here to share is just all about US 30 again. As you all know that I trade only US 30. I base on US 30 now. I've dropped every other pair for US 30. But presently, something is going on on US 30, which I, it seems that many people are so confused right now, especially last week. Many people are so confused when the market was dropping and this and that. So people were like, oh, CNBC is doing this, uh, market is doing that, blah, blah. You're so confused. So here today on this video, I'm here to share something that is very, very important. What is going on on the market? Why the market is behaving the way it's behaving right now? I'm here to share that with you. Ensure to stick to the end. Watch this video to the end, okay? And then uh, if you're not on that tele on my Telegram channel, on my free Telegram channel, the link is going to be in the description box, you know. Uh, it's free of charge to join the Telegram. You know, I post two signals, two free signals every week on that channel. And then uh, even if I don't post free signal, I'll drop a short video on the analysis, what you guys should expect. I do that. Okay, like yesterday we did, which I'm going to show you guys all here today. So uh, without wasting much of your time, you know, let's go straight to the chart. <laughs> hey guys, I believe everyone can see my screen here. So, uh, you know, last week I've been very busy. I couldn't drop video on my channel because uh, I was not able to do a review of this uh trade we took last week because i've been very busy that doesn't mean we are not trading and that doesn't mean we are not getting results you can see it you can see this is last week but i was unable to do a review of this you know you can see the trade we took why are we getting results like this and why are we so consistent on this is because of something that is very very simple which i've been saying and i'll continue to say which is uh for you to just keep it very simple you know keep it simple don't complicate things for yourself you know but uh I'm going to review this like in this video as well, but uh, let's just do, let me just share something that is happening presently. And uh, the next thing that US 30 is planning to do is US 30 ready to drop or not? Let's see. Okay. Here yesterday about the analysis that we took yesterday, you know, if you check my Telegram channel, you're going to see it there, which I dropped for free yesterday. I just did a short video, which is this. That's it. And then uh, I got an encouraging message from one of the three people on the Telegram which made 163 uh, dos, And then he said, but I tried this myself today with the little knowledge I learned from your video. So the only thing you just need to do, don't complicate things for yourself. You know, this is the analysis and this is 50, which is uh, the short I drop. This is 38 uh, fib level and it came here. And then from the 50, we had, we had the move up. Okay, this is what we did yesterday. Okay, I had three trade yesterday, one, two, three. And that's it. All right, guys. Let me use another US 30 where I do my top down. Okay. Uh, then uh, the first thing we need to go is to go to our monthly time frame, which is uh, M1 here on our trading view. One thing you guys should realize and should know is Whenever there is a, a new month on uh, on this pair, you know, you don't just expect the market 
there's no doubt that we all know that the market is on uptrend right now. Let me just delete all these drawings I have here. Yeah. Now, presently, we all know that US 30 is on uptrend now. Okay. In case you don't know, here is it. Market has been ranging for almost eight months within this zone, which I've been dropping the video on this channel. Let's just do it together. Together, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For eight good months, market was ranging within this zone, you know. But uh, towards the end of last week, which I dropped the video on my channel, in case you missed it, you can check it out. I said it when market was about to break this zone, to break out from this point, you know. Whenever you're trading, it is very important for you to do your top down analysis and then uh, you compare it to your to your CNBC. I'm going to drop a, another video on Monday, which is going to explain some things that people that really want to make money on US 30, what you need to be doing like every day it should be your daily routine. I'm going to drop that video on Monday. Okay. But now I just want to explain what is happening on US 30. Okay. Because I can see many people are so confused right now. All right. So now we have this. The market has been ranging within this zone. Get to this uh, resistance. Come back to support. Go back to resistance. Come back to support. Like this. But towards the end of last month, market was able to break out of this zone. And one thing you should realize is right now we are in a new month. And now we know that we are on uptrend. Okay. We are on uptrend, no doubt about it. But you don't expect the market to just continue. The new month just opened. You don't expect it to just start pushing up. You understand? So the market, it is expected for the market to come down, to sell at least at least 38% or 50% of the of the of last month move. And then it will create a week for the new month candle before the trend continues. So that is what is actually happening right now in the market. And then let's do this together. So we bring out our Fibonacci. If you don't know where to get it, this is it. Fib retracement, just bring it out. This is last month. Remember, we are on monthly. So just bring it down from low to high to this point. This is from low to high. Okay. So now this is our 100. This is our zero. Okay, these are zero. So this is our 38, 38 and 50 fib level, this zone, this zone. So now you should be expecting a reaction from this zone. If market pushes down to this point, you should be expecting a reaction from this zone, from this 38 to 50. Now that we have this bigger picture, what do we need to do next? We can remove this now. Now that we have this zone, then what do we need to do next? Remember you have your psychological level and the rest, okay? Now that you look out for, there are some zones on the market, you know, that the market needs to be respecting every time it gets to that particular zone. Like this, we have one, We have another zone here where I think the market is right now. We have another zone here. Just mark out all this zone on your on your on your chart on higher time frame. Then whenever market is approaching that particular point, you will know that there will definitely be a reaction. Okay. Now, to the best of my knowledge, we are done with monthly right now. Okay, so what else do we need to do? Let's go to our weekly and see what kind of candle is forming there. Now, this is our weekly. Okay, you know, we have our zones already from the monthly. This is our weekly. Okay, these are the weekly. Oh. Now, on this weekly, you can see there is, this is the 38 and 50 fib level. We can label it. Uh, 50, 50, 38 and uh, and 50. We can label it out here, this zone. So you will know that if market get to this zone, 
should be expecting a huge reaction for the continuation of the trend, you know. Now, now that we have this zone now marked out, now that we have this zone marked out, and you can see the kind of candle that is forming on your on the weekly, which is this. Now, let's go to our daily to see what's going on today. Now, if you observe very well on the daily, if you observe very well on the daily, you can see what is happening right now on the daily. You can see when the market got to, to this zone, when the market get to this zone, it reacted and then uh, it's trying to push down to this zone, to this 38 to 50, to this 38 to 50 level. Now, what are my expectations? Now that we have this bigger picture in our head, now that we have this bigger picture in our head, where the market is going and uh, what is happening, we've done our top-down analysis and now we're on the daily. We've seen the kind of candle that is forming on this uh, on this uh, daily. Then let's go to our H4 four hours and see what's going on. Now, I think uh, you're getting the understanding right now. Remember, we started from the monthly, okay? Now, here's our four hours. Let's try, let's see if we can have a trend line. Let's see if we can have a nice trend line from here. We have this. We have this. We can draw something like this as well. We can draw something like this as well. Okay. Now that we have this, let's go to our, I take my trade on five minutes. So the next thing I just need to do is just to go to the five minutes. Now that I have the bigger picture of what I'm expecting, I'm expecting the market to drop to this zone, to this zone, which is 38 to 50 FIB level. Okay. So I'm expecting the market to drop to this zone. So what I will now be expecting is, let's have a trend line here. Let's have another trend line here. We have this bearish trend, trend line here, one. Okay, now let's do this. Let's have this as well. Okay, so now today, the only thing I'll just be looking out for right now that I've done my top down analysis, I can see that this is a very key zone. You know, this is a very key zone that we have. Uh, this is a very key zone where I'm expecting a reaction for the bullish to continue, you know. So now what I'll just be looking for, right, is selling opportunity, you know, is selling opportunity. So the next thing I need to do in this kind of situation is just to go to my uh, CNBC. Okay, now it's blank because we are expecting the news. Okay, now it's blank. So once they release the news and then remember my technical, technically I'm expecting a sell. And once they release this news and this news favor this technical, that sales post A, I should sell. You all know the major companies and the rest. And everything tells me that I should sell. Then the next thing I'll just do is, let me go to where I take my trade, which is another US 30. Let me switch. Okay, we have my psychological level and the rest. Here is it. I have the same thing if you can, if you observe it. So remember the level we are looking out for is, uh, the point we are looking out for right now is uh, 34, 34, 9, 960 to 34687 within that zone we are expecting a, the bullish to come in again okay now that we know the zone we are expecting the bullish to come in the next thing we just need to do is let me adjust this trend line okay
here. Right now, you can see the market is presently at this zone. The market is presently there. So what I would just be expecting is, I'll be expecting a reaction here for the bearish to continue. And if it pushes to this point, I will expect it from here or here, looking for a selling opportunity. Note, remember, I said it has to, or my CNBC has to support the sale. You understand? And remember, today is Friday. There is uh, Forest Factory. There is on Forest Factory. There is NFP news. Okay. There is NFP news on this uh, today. Okay. So, guys, and yesterday, so, guys, that is just the review of what I'm going to drop for you today. But so now, here is it. Here is the gist about this thing. You know, you don't need to complicate things for yourself. US 30 to me is the simplest pair to trade. Very simple in the sense that you have to keep it simple for yourself. If you don't complicate this thing for yourself, it's not going to be complicated. We have mentorship in place in the sense that I'm not trying to advertise anything because you don't, you want to reduce the stress that you want to go through. You know, we have a procedure and a principle that is working. You don't need to complicate things for yourself by going, that, okay, you want to go and do this, you want to go and do that. By putting a lot of information, a lot of things on your head again. You see, forest has to do with only your emotion and how disciplined you are and how well you can manage your risk. If you cannot manage your risk, man, you're not going to go find this business. But if you can manage your risk, you can and you can and you can have your trading journal. This is my own trading journal. You can see it in my in my front. Before I take trade, I read it. If I want to leave trade overnight, I read it. Never leave trade overnight. It's here in my journal. So if you have all these things that are guiding you, you don't need to stress yourself much about it again. You have all the confluences in place, which I'm not withholding any information from you guys. I'm teaching you guys the same thing I'm teaching my mentees. The only difference is just that they know when I enter trade, they know when I leave a trade. And I owe them by the ends to know what they need to do at the right time. You understand? So that's it. So don't complicate things for yourself. Just keep it very, very simple. If you keep it simple, man, this market is going to be your friend. And to go find this business, just stick to one pair. The money you're going to make on one pair is, is, in fact, it will pay you more than going from one pair to another because you can make money on this and lose it on this make money on this and lose it on this okay guys so i'm gonna drop a video on monday i'll make sure i drop it on Mon on sunday or monday that's gonna explain in details what is happening why people are so confused on the market uh, cnbc is uh, saying uh buy the market is dropping why do you understand and what you need to be doing as your daily routine because i don't want this video to be too long if not i will have included it but uh, I don't want it to be too long. All right, guys. So here's all I've got to share with you today without wasting more of your time. This is Omar Jason YK. Ensure to join that free Telegram channel. It's free of charge. Just join. You know, the link is going to be in the description box. You know, without wasting much of your time, here's Omar Jason YK signing out. Peace out.